Welcome back, friends. It is time for the fourth episode of episode three. I'm getting that's confusing. This is the extras portion. We're gonna go see uh, Crane's apartment, so that's something we didn't get to see. And there is replay value to the game because of the choices you can make and how many different things happen. So we're gonna pick up when Big Bigby was on the phone with Snow White, and then we're gonna decide to go to Crane's apartment. That's what's gonna happen there. And then we'll get the other fable, which is I'm gonna assume burning down the tree. Now, what makes this game interesting for playing again and again is I talked to Holly while she was sleepy as saying I was big instead of woodsman, and it was a very different conversation. So there are plenty of replay values here and there. You know that you're on a bit of a leash. You can't go too far left and right, but there are things you can do differently for your story, and it definitely makes it a different kind of ride if you want to play it a different kind of way. And that's something to appreciate for replay value. It's a really enjoyable game. I've been enjoying this game a lot, and I'm, you know, I'm, we're only three through it. There's still two more, so you can always get in in this ride, get your own way through it, and then see how your choices go compared to ours. So let's go ahead and get into the choice now to go see Crane's apartment. Boop, there we go. I'll head over to Crane's apartment, see what I can... Sounds good. Just keep... I do wish they wouldn't cut themselves the meantime, off. I'll see what I can do on this That's a bit troubling. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. So knowing what we know now, it's curious to see how we'll see uh, Crane's place. Here we are. So Bluebeard's already been here, so now it's time to see things. Bluebeard burned everything. What? Why? Another question is, what would happen if Bluebeard, if we didn't, if we came here first? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Not your fault. There was nothing I could do. Honest. It's not your fault, Buffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Why would he is the question, really? Like, we knew Bluebeard would mess with things, but I thought Bluebeard was going to get back to us on the information he had. Instead, he gave us nothing. That's what is surprising me. Figured he'd give us something. Huh. And... If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the Trip Trap? Just this. Okay. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Oh, well. Good luck. So we just get an extra scene. That's all we get is an extra scene. That Bluebeard f the place. Alright, well. Good to know. So now we're just later here. So if we go to Crane's, he's going to go to D's. If we go to D's, he'll go to Crane, and I bet he's never going to touch Holly. So we'll just go to Crane's. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles office. There it is. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. So one of the other leads to part of the information, and then... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Holly is going to be the rest of the information. Because there's no way Bluebeard's going there. So let's go ahead and go over here. Quickly. Hey, what's this room? Who's this room? Out of curiosity. This is Briar Rose's place. Briar Rose is familiar, but I don't know who that is. And this is... Crane's door is open, so whose place is this? King Cole? Snow said Crane lives in 1903. K Thrushbeard? Who's K Thrushbeard? Door's already open, so that works. Crane? I'll eat that, he'll be in here. Really? A bust of yourself, bro? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. All right, let's go ahead and search the wine cabinet. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the same wine that Lily has. Same brand we found in the open arms. 
Oh, we didn't. Uh, uh, check the answer machine. That's Bloody Mary. Okay, we know that there was a picture, a book, and a clock, so we'll go over here. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Who's that? Math, science, history. The joy? I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Joy of lovemaking? Okay. Portrait? So why did those things get burned by Bluebeard? Because I'm not seeing any connection right now, unless it's over here. I guess it would be in his teacher pouch. Let's check out the statue first. Why would you have a freaking thing of the Headless Horseman? There it is. Ah, right, Headless Horseman. There, we got it. Do the rest of this, though, before we get the other one. Nota. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Oh Watching God! You work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <laughs> well, now we have a love note. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Boss. Awesome. What's going on here? So we get the money this way or the other way, okay. So either way we can get the money. There's the key. To what? Might be useful. Alright, we had a key for the other place. Let's try over here. This hasn't been used in years. Thank you for your help this year. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Uh-huh. Hit the statue again. There's no keyhole, is there? No. Alright, look around. Um. Oh, balls. Where do I use this key? Probably on the bus down huh? here. Yeah, let's go check the bus. Or anything else? Let's see. Oh, there's a room. Let's check the bus first. Really? <laughs> I'm not the only one who thought that. Okay, good. Really? Okay. No, no, I have a key! I have a key, wait. Okay, well, there's gotta be an easier way. Why did you lead with a shoulder that, you know, isn't so great? Use the key. Could have led with his left shoulder. This right one's got the wounds. Seriously? Grab him. Uh -oh. <gasps> Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, what? of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. So we either meet Flycatcher. You know, I've always wondered. Or Jack. Do you get that wet dog smell when it rains. Explain yourself. Now. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. <sighs> so, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. <laughs> hey! Ah, boss, get him! <laughs> okay! <laughs> You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of don't this. Don't lie to me. I'd like to keep all my teeth. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. Could have punched him. Could have punched him. Should have punched him. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? <laughs> I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. 
A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay! Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff! Alright? <laughs> Silence. <sighs> You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? Because, He's in let it. me tell you, people haven't forgotten about those at all. Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? How do you mean? That's all I'm gonna tell you. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Probably should have punched him. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. <laughs> you know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're well, interested, information comes at a price. How though. convenient. But I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. <laughs> I still want to punch Come him on. so bad. Deal. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Yeesh. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Grip. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where, is she? Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. How would he not know? You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. Might still punch. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. What's in it? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, really? Glamour tube, that's important though. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? <laughs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Hand them over. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. Jesus. That it? Pick me? Huh? His nose there. Are you still here? Be quiet. Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's helping me. He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Don't see the, the bag. Name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Ooh. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Huh. Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. 
We still have to find him. Catch him first. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Yeah, we have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. We'll go to Blue Well, obviously we do one and then it goes to the other, so we'll just go to Dome's we'll go office. go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. So what Blue Bluebeard destroyed... Hang on, Jack. Oh. I want to talk to you. Uh-oh. What Bluebeard destroyed wasn't actually relevant. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Poor flycatcher. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher? You okay? Are you okay? Your face. Uh, oh. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. Where'd he go? I just finished cleaning. You know where he went? No. Uh, no. <laughs> What? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. So, can we still investigate the room? Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I didn't send him. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Ah. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. Dr. Snow. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... thank you. Look, I'm running out of time. Oh. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Hmm. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. So that room is undisturbed regardless. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, not regardless. But that room gets undisturbed. So Bluebeard actually doesn't do shit! That's interesting. Bluebeard doesn't catch Jack. And Bluebeard... Bluebeard was worthless. Alright, that's good to know. Alright. <laughs> and this situation still happens. Okay, so... Pause. Let's go ahead and... Alright, so we still got one more situation. That is burning the tree, so... Oh, I get it. It's a glamour tube for her. Okay. Let's get back into it. Hey, everybody. We're at the old lady. Okay, so... The glamour tube, I just realized, was for the old lady. That's... That's the tube used for her to stay in the little girl's form. Once you open the tube, she got out of her glamour form. That's what it does. Auntie Greenleaf. Didn't catch that. It hurts when you do it that fast. I didn't catch it the first time. Other note is, um, with Jack and all that, how do we know that Ichabod Crane was uh, embezzling if not, if we didn't go to Crane's apartment, right? That's the one I'm not sure. How do we learn that from the D's and the, oh wait, when we look at those notes, I guess that's how we learn for it, because we see that he's so in, he owes the crooked man a bunch, and I guess we just assume that at that point. That's my assumption. Let's get going here. What? No more bullshit. You picked the wrong 
night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Oh yeah, the little girl was her daughter in the homelands. To a jackal and a demon. Not and her daughter's dead. That. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. We're going full dick here. Huh. That's funny. Uh, I distinctly remember telling you just now to not fucking lie to- <laughs> I don't think you get it. <laughs> I'll gladly illustrate how much trouble you're in if you keep up the babe in the woods routine. I have a lot of bullies in my life, Mr. Wolf. One more won't tip the kettle. Oh. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. Oh. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Ooh. We're destroying the tree. No! He's freaking out about that tree. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love Die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Oof. I'm sorry, Sheriff. Burning it! Please. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Green was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave. And don't... Don't burn my tree. Hmm. Bitch, I'm burning it! I'm begging you. I'm begging you! Orders are orders. There you go. Oh, lighter? Wow. There it is. You doomed me. Do you know that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. That's why I didn't do it the first time. I told you everything. And then you extinguished the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing! Wow. Nose pissed. Still pissed. Alright, okay, so that's everything now, so... Huh! This one a lot longer than I thought it would, huh? Let's see your achievements. So we got, uh... Journeyman Librarian. As, oh, just because I've never shown these, have I? So if you look at the achievements, here's the achievements here. Promising land, belly full of stones. What big eyes you have, huff and puff. Severe case of lycanthropy. And then the enchanted land of New York City. Why is severe case of this one at number five when all the stuff where we get to fight in is number six, right? I don't, I don't know. Five is that. And then, okay, yeah, shut up, everybody. Shut up. Okay. So, Book of Fables. So what we were missing was the tree and the headless horseman. So the headless horseman, go and just uh, we're on, we're over here. 
So this is just how trolls do their funerals. Vivian, they don't- no one knows who the hell Vivian actually is. Dr. Swanheart, this doesn't tell me a goddamn thing! Flycatcher, he's the prince. Headless Horseman, the Headless Horseman. Trip Trap Bar, so... A Viking owned this place, and then he lost it in a card game to a bunch of trolls, and Holly inherited it from her mother when her mother died. This is a sort of boating accident. Auntie Greenleaf is from the Old World, and, um, well, everyone's from the Homelands, but her daughter died in the Homelands, and I guess she does the transforming to remember her daughter? I don't know, creepy like that, right? We'll look at the grammar tree in a second. Glamour tube, of course, you know, it's the charms they use. Ring of Dispel is what Ichabod Crane tried to use, but it could not work because it doesn't work anymore. Bloody Mary, scary lady. Scary, scary, scary lady. Is she the one that laughed? I don't know. She might be the one that laughed. Now, this is the one I haven't read, so we'll read it together. Grown from a seed, spirited away from, from her family's enchanted orchard, this tree is the sole remaining source of Auntie Greenleaf's magical enchantments. Its bark is used for glamour tubes, its leaves are crushed for ointments and spells, and its twigs and sticks can be used as rods for a variety of entrancing purposes. So there you go. Also, Auntie Greenleaf turns into a white deer when she goes out outside, so... Yeah, a deer out and about, probably not the coolest thing for the fables to want to be seen. But there you go, so that's everything there. Heck of a ride this game, isn't it? And yeah, there you go. Like I said, we are three ways through it, there's two more to go. And it's just a lot of fun, it's got a lot of good replay value to it, and if you're hooked on this and you want to just get to there already, don't wait on us, you can go play it yourself and then see how we did it. But that right there for now is the game. I had fun with it for watching, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun, thanks coming by, and see you next time for Chapter 4, which is called... Thing. I'm not... I... I... Nah, I, I'll look it up. Oh, by the way, that chapter is different depending on where you go first. Kind of cool. So, yeah, it's called In Sheep's Clothing, so Bluebeard's right there. But, like, uh, this one's Autumn Fires. If you go to Cranes first, it's called My Kingdom, and I don't know what times you go to D, D and Dumbs first. But there we go, that's everything right there. See you at the next one! Mm -hmm.